Hi, my name is Stephen McGee, and I'm the author of Curing Electromagnetic Hypersensitivity. And one of the things that I used in curing electromagnetic hypersensitivity was a wristwatch. So part of what I was doing was wearing this wristwatch, and we're going to take a little look at the emissions coming out of it. And this is a Casio MW600 wristwatch. I may take a second with the focus to come in, but you should be able to see the model. And we're going to use some pieces of test equipment to test this watch. This is an amplified speaker with a telephone pickup magnetic coil. So an important thing to realize when we're using this is this is just a magnetic field detector. So although you're going to hear sound coming out of the box, all that box is doing is amplifying the magnetic field that this little voice pickup coil is detecting. I'm going to use a tri-field meter, it's the 100XE, and we're going to use a standard AM radio. And we're also going to contrast this watch to these watches. So this one here is a dual display, it has an analog display, and it also has a digital display at the bottom. And you can see right here, there's the model number. And I'm going to test this watch. It's a digital watch. And if I flip it over, we should be able to see the model number. And I'm very interested to see what the difference is between these three watches. So we're going to start with this little device. This is called the telephone voice pickup coil and amplifier. So we're going to go through the three watches. We're going to start with the analog watch and we're going to see what's going on. So you can see that noise is actually the magnetic field and it has a once per second pulse in line with the second hand. So let's see what this watch is doing. So this is our dual display. And you just heard a thump. Now this only moves the hand once per minute. There is no second hand. And that's where that thump came from that you heard. So this has a magnetic field emission as detectable once every minute when the main hand moves one minute to the next position. Okay, so other than that movement of the hand that occurs once per minute, there was no detection. So this is our digital watch and we're going all over the back of it and we are not picking anything up. There is no sound coming out of this watch. So that means our equipment is not detecting any magnetic field. Okay. So let's turn this one off. And we'll go to the tri-field meter. And we're gonna use this on the zero to three range and let's see what we find. So there's our analog watch. It moves the second hand once per second and it gives out that pulse. So that's an electromagnetic field that we're picking up on. You see it's quite strong. So it's the zero to three range and it's full scale. Let's go to our analog and digital. Watch our dual display. Now, if we held this here long enough, we would probably see the pulse there it goes. It just moved the hand. So there is a pulsed emission coming out of this and it's a pulsed emission once per minute. And let's have a look at our digital watch and we're not picking up anything coming out of this and my assistant has just 
joined the party. Hi Oliver. Okay, let's turn this off. Now, the final test is the AM radio. So, we're on the AM band and we're on AM 530 here in Tucson, Arizona and there's no radio station there in Tucson, Arizona. I'm going to turn it up to full volume and we're going to see what happens when we put the watches near to the radio. And the best place to do this test is around the tuning dial. So you can hear the radio is picking up on the movement of the second hand. Okay, so let's go to our analog and digital watch. Let's move it around. It's a little bit of interference. So there is a slight bit of interference coming out of this on the AM radio band. And our final watch is our digital watch. Let's see what happens with this one. So we definitely have electromagnetic interference coming out of this watch. So that was the purpose of this demonstration, was to show you that the three watches that we looked into all have distinctly different emissions coming out of them. And so far, the one that is testing for being beneficial to biological health is this one. It's the analog watch. And it's the one that pulses once per second. So I actually wear this watch because of the beneficial health effects that I've seen from it during testing.